Hello Retro Gamers and welcome to Retro Games Forever. So on this channel I'm going to be bringing you so much variation to the videos to keep you, the Retro Gamer, happy. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe for future videos. Right, I'm going to be setting up the Amiga emulator using Retro Arch or Retro Arch Plus. So there's a few things we need first before we open up this. We need a file manager and of course we need a Kickstarter ROMs. You can get them off Google. I've got them off the Play Store, Amiga Forever Essentials. If you do download this, when you open it up, you'll transfer the kickstarts. So to find them, a lot of people struggle to find them. You go into your main stories, like say I'm using File Manager, go to Android, Data, and you go down, you'll see there, com.clota Amiga Forever Essentials. Copy these, all of them, so copy, go back, and what we're going to do, we're going to go into the folder, restaurants, so once you've downloaded restaurants, there will be a folder, now you can see, retro arch, open that up, scroll down to systems, and paste them. Now I've already got them in there as you can see. So we'll just skip that. Right, so we'll come back out of here. Another thing you need to do is make a folder for your games. Now I've got my games and my main storage at the top as you can see, Amiga ROMs. So just make a folder. Right, so we've done that. Now if you haven't got Retro uh, set up, just go back to one of my videos, I'll show you how to set that up. So, we've got RetroArch set up. First thing we need to do is go into Online Updater. Core Downloader at the top. Scroll down till you find the emulator, which is this one. I've already got it downloaded, Commodore Amiga. So you just click on that, come back out. Now we're going to scan for... Uh, ROMs. Now I'm going to do a manual scan because I've got a lot of public domain games and if you do the original scan it will only pick up what it's got in the RetroArch database. So, contact directory, click on that, mine's there, on my system, not on my SD card. If you have them on your SD card just click on this one of your storage. So clicking on that, there we are, Amiga ROMs, scan directory. Go down to this one, contact there, common Omega, then go down to default core, click on that, common Omega, PUAE, and then to the bottom, scan directory. Right. Right, so there we have common Omega. So let's select again. If you press on your fur button, this will come up. And if you click on whatever letter, so I'm going to click on that. It's Y. Take a shrink. Why's it not doing that? I should take it to all this. Not doing it. Now before I start this game, I'm going to press both of my analog thumb buttons. This brings you into your options. I want to go down to controls. As you see at the top, it says retro pad. That, this is my controls. So whatever pad you're using, it will come up. If it doesn't, just search for it. But that's where it'll come up. Don't press the controller what you've got. Now I've changed one of these. All these are presets, so you don't have to do anything. But I have changed this one to up. And that's because of the platform games. You've only got one button or a mega pad. So all the times you have to press up, I, it, I really 
can't get used to that because I've been playing a lot of Mega Drive games, snares, where you've got another button. So I've changed that to up. You don't have to do that. So it's entirely up to you. So we'll go back out of there. Back out again. I want to just show you this. Only do this if it actually happens to you, but this. Go to Retro Pad Mapping. When I, I could not get my keyboard to come up, and sometimes you do need a keyboard, it was preset at select, but when I press select, it used to spring me into my options. So I've changed it to toggle virtual keyboard start button on my controller. Well, like I said, just try select first on your controller. If it comes up the keyboard, you're fine. If it doesn't, go to this. So go back out to the start add this back up. So I press both of my analog fun buttons. Another brilliant feature about this is your analogs are your mouse buttons and your L2 and R2 are also your mouse buttons and you don't have to configure that. So I'm going to come out of this. I just want to show you another. This is if you're changing discs. If I have a quick load. Right, we'll go with Buzz Bad Boy. So I click on that, as you notice here, it's a two disc game. So I'm going to run that. Right, as you can see, in, insert disc two. Press your analog buttons again. To go into this, scroll down to disk control, load new disk. And select your disk two. Press your button. I'm going to press on the keyboard. back into this there's just one more thing I need to show you so I'm gonna go if you ever come across this because as you can see yes if you go to your options model it's on automatic yeah so keep that at that but I have noticed some games if you come across this we find the game. Where is it? Now this is Bridge Strike. It's a home brew game. So I'm going to click on it. Press run. As you can see this, this is because it's not got enough memory. So 
I'm going to click off that, yeah. Go to options. So the, you only have to do this if it happens, but model and change it to this one, 8, 1, 8, 1200, version 3.1, 2 mil chip. So what? So now, I have to just select another brain quick. As you can see, it does load. So, but I would keep this on automatic. It's only if you ever come across them issues, that code that you just not got enough memory. I don't know why it doesn't, why it, because it's set on automatic. But so, like I say, it's only if you come across that issue. I've covered everything there for you. So if you do have any issues, put it in the comments. I will get straight back to you. Like I said, it's a really good emulator. And if you're new to the Amiga, it was one L of a classic computer. And there's also the Amiga Mini out there, which I recommend. So thanks for watching. Like I said, any issues, put it in the comments. Hope you enjoy this video and give us a like. See you soon.